Peel and Stick Curb Flashing, WBRC 5.2. Weatherbond's Peel and Stick Curb Wrap is available for either Weatherbond RBR Black or Weatherbond's RBR White EPDM membranes. The peel and stick curb wrap consists of Weatherbond's 60 mil EPDM membrane with a 5 inch wide piece of Weatherbond's peel and stick seam tape pre-applied. This product reduces the total amount of labor that is necessary to flash curbs or wall details. This process begins with the proper securement of the membrane. Measure the perimeter of the curb and add a minimum of 4 inches. This curb will require a continuous piece of cured flashing 76 inches long. To determine the location of your vertical splice, mark the end membrane at 4 inches to achieve a minimum 3 inch splice. Apply bonding adhesive to the curb flashing. Do not apply bonding adhesive in the splice area. Bonding adhesive is applied at a rate of 60 square feet per gallon finished surface. Position a slip sheet on the deck membrane to eliminate contamination of bonding adhesive in the splice areas. Apply bonding adhesive to the curb. To make the installation easier, we will use the vertical height and mark this distance on the curb wrap, measuring from the tape. After marking, chalk a line that's used to set the curb wrap. Allow the bonding adhesive to flash off until it passes the tack test. Fold the flashing in half and set the flashing to the curb using the line we chalked earlier. Position the flashing starting at an outside corner. Pull light tension on the flashing and wrap it around the curb. Cut and remove the excess material at the vertical splice and cut the vertical splice diagonally. Apply EPDM primer to the deck membrane so that it's free of globs or puddles. Allow the primer to dry. Cut the membrane at the corners down to the deck and round the corners of the membrane. Apply slight pressure so the flashing is tightened to the angle change and peel off the clear poly and apply hand pressure to complete the splice. Roll all splice areas with a 2 inch wide roller. For the vertical splice, prime both sides of the curb wrap where the seam tape will lie. After priming, cut peel and stick seam tape to the height of the curb. After ensuring that the primer is ready, apply the peel and stick seam tape to the flashing that is against the curb. Fold over the other part of the wrap before removing the poly to ensure that we do not need to trim the flashing. If necessary, trim the flashing so that 1 8 inch to a half inch of tape is exposed. Remove the poly and fold over the top portion of the wrap. Roll the vertical seam with a 2 inch wide roller. Complete the corners following the WBRC 15.5, 15.6, or 15.7 details.